I'm Julie Laurie. I'm an optometrist and I also have um, three children. Um, my problem began one day after work. Um, I was doing a really long day and then the next day I was driving to golf and I found that I couldn't move my neck. My neck was very tight and locked. Um, and this sort of progressively just got worse. I went to see um, different physiotherapists who had good names, um, but obviously weren't that experienced in the dealing with such a problem. And they gave me, they tried to help me and give me different exercises and tape me. And uh, one physiotherapist taped me so hard that it actually tore my skin off. And But it made no difference. And they all sort of said, oh, well, you'll have to have surgery. And when I finally got to see um, Peter, then um, I found that he, the exercises he gave me, and his premise was what had happened in my life previously to that. And I sort of looked at him and said, uh, what do you mean? And he said, well, usually stress can cause muscles to become tight. And even though you've got um, physical um, problems in the structure of your neck and degeneration and spurs, that it's actually the stress that makes it worse. As soon as he said that, I thought, oh my God, um, that's what's happened because it was exactly like he said and I was holding a lot of tension and I just then straight away started to say I don't want to hold that tension if it's going to cause so much problems. I mean I couldn't even sleep on one side of the bed, I couldn't even look at my iPhone, just simple things that people take for granted. I couldn't believe that the stress could have made it so much worse. Um, from the point I realised that stress was a major driver, the change was just so dramatic and so quick. Over a period of a few weeks, I started to feel much better. Um, and I was given more and more exercises to do, and that just seemed to make me stronger and stronger. I was doing meditation, relaxing, and I found my neck was much looser and I think where other physios probably went wrong wasn't so much what they gave me but they needed to stress you need to relax when doing the exercises whereas if you've got a stiff neck and you've been given exercises you, you, you're going to tense your neck up and that's going to make it worse whereas if you relax and do those exercises the outcome would be completely different so that is the, definitely the key in um, sort of breaking that cycle. Is Medicines really? didn't make much difference at all. I found really um, I'd get an upset stomach and um, the, the relief was very minimal. So meditation, um, the amount that you need to do to, for it to be effective is actually so small. It's 20 minutes a day. Um, you can do it at home, you can do it lying in bed before you get out of bed, you can do it before going to bed. It is really easy and the, the results are dramatic. It's very important to have family supporting you because otherwise, you know, you sort of say, well, I can't sit there, I need this, I need that. And depending how they were, if they were not supportive, I guess you just feel even worse. Whereas if you know that your family are with you and helping you, um, then it just it, it just makes a huge difference. So many of my friends have issues and they they accept what they've been told and um, people accept. I was told by the doctor, by the radiologist that, oh no, I definitely have to have surgery. And don't accept that because there's a different way of doing it and a very non-invasive, very quick, you know, if you embrace it and do it. Um, and meditation, initially I used to think, oh, I've got to meditate again. But it made me feel so much better generally and um, it's had so many knock-on benefits in my life that it's probably the best thing that actually ever happened and um, it's made me stronger than I was before and fitter than I was before. The advice I could give anyone going through this uh, similar situation is don't give up and don't accept. If, you're, if it doesn't feel right, go and get another opinion um, because there is help out there and the thing that really surprised me is how different different practitioners can be and their outlook. Um, there's not too many physios you'd go to and they'd say, what's happened in your life? Um, not they're all good physios, mm. but it's just a different way of looking at it. And it's such an important question and can actually just change the whole course of your life.